You're watching a Nova Science Now video podcast. Is your mic condition okay? Does the capsule look like it's okay? Over. The capsule looks good from here. Over. Home. To Earth comes the Voyager. Tears of thrilled lines of proud Americans. In ceremonies at Mercury Control Center, President John F. Kennedy presents the NASA Distinguished Service Medal to astronaut John Glenn. All of the glory and glamour aside, what is it really like being an astronaut? It is pretty physically and mentally training. This is quite an experience that you're going through. For the past year and a half, Mike Massimino has been training for the upcoming Hubble repair mission as a lead spacewalker. And Massimino can tell you that being an astronaut isn't all zero gravity and freeze-dried ice cream. The physical part of it is you're in the spacesuit, and you're in the suit for about eight hours from the time they put you in to the time you get out. You good? There's no food near with you, so you have to have a good breakfast. You do have a drink bag, so you can drink water while you're doing this. But you really need to be in the best shape you can be in. It's also mentally fatiguing because you have to think about what you're doing. If you're doing oops, you get in trouble. You've got to really concentrate on what's going on. You can't think about what you're going to have for dinner that night, although you might like to. But you really need to think about what you're doing. It, it kind of gets to you. In those last couple hours, you could get fatigued and start making the mistake you really wouldn't want to make. Massimino and his team will be doing everything from replacing batteries and insulation to intricate repair work on one of Hubble's main cameras. Every space mission is dangerous, and even if the astronauts remain safe, one small mistake could compromise the world's most famous telescope. So training is paramount. Preparing astronauts here on Earth for a mission in space is a challenge in itself. NASA relies heavily on the Neutral Buoyancy Lab. The Neutral Buoyancy Lab is a fancy name for a big giant pool. We can fit a whole space shuttle in there plus a whole space station. It's huge. They try to get us neutrally buoyant. And that enables us to practice our spacewalking. We can egress the space shuttle and move along the handrails and work with the telescope. And it's very close to learning the, uh, the body positioning and the skills you need to spacewalk. An astronaut is only part of the picture. Behind every NASA mission, there is a vast team of experts who play a huge role in the preparation of the flight team. We're their coaches, their teachers, their flight controllers, and their friends. We write all of the procedures for the spacewalk. Which crewman's going to do what? Who's better in this area versus that? Who's going to be on the arm? And we make that into one continuous procedure that we just update constantly. And the choreography is just down to the dime so that we don't waste any time. Each EVA, or extravehicular activity, that an astronaut is scheduled to perform in space is painstakingly practiced here on Earth, dozens of times over a course of years, all in an effort to work out the kinks. Well, actually, there's a list of things you can screw up. And what you want to do is screw up, get, check off as many of that list as you can on the ground, so when you get to space, there's only a couple of them left. No training here on Earth, however, can entirely prepare someone for an experience that is, quite literally, out of this world. You just have to lift your head or your eyeballs and look around you, and it's the most beautiful sight you've ever seen. So you're, in some ways, you're totally prepared to do your work, but the, the experience of being out there is just so unique, uh, and it's, it's wonderful. It's the best thing in the world. To learn more about Mike Massimino and the upcoming Hubble repair mission, watch Nova Science Now, airing Wednesday, July 9th on PBS. Or for more fun science stories, visit us online at pbs.org slash nova slash science now.